Hey guys, let me show you uh, another new uh, little project I've been working on. This is a, a pocket Morse tutor for a change. <laughs> um, completely self-contained, I'll show you inside. Powered by internal batteries, a small sounder, um, mode select switch, an headphone socket so it can be used completely portable um, yeah, at work, out for a jog in the house while the wife's watching uh, EastEnders <laughs> and uh, all that sort of stuff or you can use it using the small internal sounder um, for practice use uh, on a desk if uh, you're not going to annoy anyone um, although there's only two controls this one is the volume and power this one is a gap adjustment shall we say but in addition to that um, I've done a, a little bit of software in there which allows you, if you press the one button in while we turn it on, uh, allows you to go into setup mode. And in that mode, you can set the words per minute rate and the pitch that the um, the tutor uses um, when it's running. Uh, it works quite well, very pleased with it. Uh, I've been trying to make this for a while to get this right. It's taken a few attempts at getting the board correct and the battery, uh, so the batteries fit and everything works as it should do. So I'll show you how we use it. I'll show you how we go into setup mode first, which is what you would normally do having just built the thing. So there's a small button there which changes the mode. Hopefully we can see that there. Uh, with an LED above it. So we press the mode button in and we turn it on. And we keep the uh, button in after we've turned it on. The LED starts to flash. And it sends the letter A. Now if you use the gap control we can alter the character speed. So set that to something you're comfortable with. Let's say that for argument's sake. Release and press again. Now the pitch is adjustable from quite high. Ooh, horrible down to quite low so we'll set the pitch to a, something that we're happy enough with let's assume that's what we want then we just release and that's it now if we turn it off put get rid of the gap and just turn it on we can adjust the gap You can just gap up to about four seconds or so. Give it another gap for now. Now to change mode, we just press the mode button. Numbers. Press again. P for pro signs. Mix. So that's letters, numbers and pro signs. And another press. See, and that's in call sign mode. Uh, if you've seen any of my other tutors, you've seen this before. You'll send the international call signs. The pitch and the speed will vary slightly just to make it a little bit more interesting. And that's it basically. We'll turn him off for now. Any settings that you've adjusted, the speed uh, or the pitch, they remain constant. It's stored in the little uh, chip until you reset them again yourself. Um, nice little project to build. Um, nice for a little Christmas present for someone maybe. We're not far off that now are we? Um, and as you can see very portable. I've taken the screws out the bottom at the moment just so I can show the inside and I am going to have a little sticker panel for the top and uh, that should be with me in the next day or two. Looking at uh, say about 25, I think it'll be 25 pounds for the unit and uh, that's the full kit with the case, the preview front panel, 
uh, knob parts. So the only thing you'll need to provide really is the batteries and uh, to assemble it yourself. Batteries again are just two, oops, pulling the back panel off, two uh, AAA batteries, uh, easy to get hold of, available from just about anywhere. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, that is available as from now. I have a uh, small batch of, uh, of units. I've got the parts for 20. Uh, probably going to get some more in. So if you want one, uh, you, know, you know where I am. Just uh, drop me an email or look on the website um, phoenixkitsonline.co.uk. Thank you.